Gary Schaefer, I'm an assistant professor in the neurobiology department at UMass Medical School. As an undergrad, I was involved in research um, at Mount Holyoke College. And, you know, the, the kind of thrill of discovery and finding new things even at that early stage was really exciting to me. Then I decided to kind of get my feet wet a little bit more in, in wet bench work, and I worked for a few years in a lab, and it, that's really, really where my passion kind of developed. And it was my kind of the first time I developed a passion for glial cells, the type of cells I work on in the nervous system, where I saw them in the microscope for the first time interacting with neurons, and I was like, whoa, that is so cool. That was really kind of the starting drive for just committing myself to science. I was fortunate to have multiple offers, but this is just such a special place. I was blown away by the scientific community here. You know, when people say they collaborate, you go everywhere, you interview, and they say, yes, everybody collaborates, and, and we're so collaborative, but here they really mean it. I'm interested in these cells we call microglia. They are a subtype of glial cell, the resident immune cell that make up about 10% of your upwards of 10% of your, of your nervous system. I'm really interested in teasing out how these microglia regulate the development of the nervous system and wiring up the nervous system. Ultimately translating that to neuropsychiatric disorders with deficit, we have known deficits in, in brain wiring, so autism spectrum disorders and schizophrenia, um, where we also know that these microglial cells, there's abnormalities in them, but at this point we have no idea if there's a connection between that and the brain wiring abnormalities that are going on in the disorders. 